Hello, in this video, you will learn about WWE superstars who have died. Ashley Marie Massaro, American wrestler, manager and jack of all trades, as well as a model and actress. She is best known for her work in WWE and her appearance on the season of Survivor China. Massaro made her wrestling debut as a contestant in the 2005 WWE Divas Search Talent Competition, in which she was the winner, and based on the rules signed a one-year contract with WWE, receiving a cash prize of $250,000. Massaro's first feud was a feud against the hit trio of Vince Devils. Later, Massaro became the manager of tag team champions Paul London and Brian Kendrick. Her good results were rewarded with a match at WrestleMania 23 against Molina for the Women's Championship, as well as a match against the Lumberjacks from Playboy at WrestleMania 24. Massaro ended her wrestling career in mid-2008. During her time in WWE, Massaro appeared on the covers of several magazines, including Playboy, in April 2007. In addition, she made guest appearances on various television shows and also appeared in music videos. Brian Christopher Lawler, American wrestler. He is best remembered for his career in the World Wrestling Federation, where he appeared as Too Sexy Brian Christopher and Grandmaster Cissé. Lawler was a one-time WWF Tag Team Champion with Scotty Too Hotty as part of Too Cool and won 44 titles with the United States Wrestling Association, a promotion previously co-owned by his father, wrestler Jerry Lawler. Bruno Leopoldo Francesco Sammartino, Italian-born American wrestler best known for his work with the World Wide Wrestling Federation. There, he held the WWWWF World Heavyweight title twice for over 11 years the first championship being the longest in the promotion's history at 2,803 days. Early in his career, San Martino was called the Italian strongman and the strongest man in the world, later earning the title the living legend. Known for his bear hug hold, he is considered the greatest wrestler of all time. San Martino became a vocal critic of the drug use and more crude storylines that became prevalent in the wrestling industry after his departure but he reconciled with WWE in 2013 and headlined the Hall of Fame induction ceremony that same year. Terry Funk said that San Martino was bigger than wrestling itself. Christopher Allen Pallies, American wrestler and actor known as King Kong Bundy. Under this alias, he portrayed a pugnacious, loudmouth villain. He competed in the World Wrestling Federation in the mid-1980s and mid-1990s and participated in the main event of WrestleMania Two in 1986, battling Hulk Hogan in a steel cage for the WWF World Heavyweight Championship. He also headlined the first Survivor Series in 1987, as well as Extreme Championship Wrestling's first main event, November to Remember, in 1993. Edward Smith Fatu, American wrestler who performed under the name Umaga. He rose to fame in World Wrestling Entertainment, where he was twice Intercontinental Champion. He was a member of the Anuai family, a prominent Samoan wrestling family. During the first part of his WWE career, he released under the name Jamal and was a member of the Three Minute Warning Team, along with his cousin Matanoai, called Rosie. He was fired from the company in June 2003. In April 2006, Fatu returned to WWE under the name Umaga. Fatu was undefeated on Raw throughout the year and suffered his first defeat to then WWE champion John Cena in January 2007. The following month, he won the WWE Intercontinental title for the first time and won it for the second time in July 2007. He also competed in the Battle of the Billionaires match at WrestleMania 23 as Mr. McMahon's representative. He was fired from WWE in June 2009. Shortly thereafter, he began performing on the independent scene until his death from a heart attack in December of that year. Harley Leland Race, American wrestler, wrestling promoter and trainer. Reyes has appeared in the National Wrestling Alliance, American Wrestling Association, World Wrestling Federation, and World Championship Wrestling. He was a nine-time world champion, winning the WWA World Heavyweight Championship once, the NWA World Heavyweight Championship eight times, and was the first NWA United States heavyweight champion. Reyes is one of six men to be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame, NWA Hall of Fame, WCW Hall of Fame, Wrestling Hall of Fame, and Wrestling Observer Newsletter Hall of Fame. James Brian Helwig, 
American wrestler known by his nickname, The Last Warrior. He is best known for his appearances in the World Wrestling Federation from 1987 to 1991 and from 1992 to 1996 and in World Championship Wrestling in 1998 under the name Warrior. After a career in bodybuilding, Helwig turned to wrestling. From 1985 to 1986, he wrestled with former bodybuilder Steve Borden in the Blade Runners, which broke up when Warrior left to pursue a singles career with World Class Championship Wrestling. Warrior died on April 8, 2014 at the age of 54 in Scottsdale, Arizona. James Ryher Shuka, American wrestler and actor better known by his alias Jimmy Superfly Snuka. Snuka performed in numerous promotions from the 1970s through the 2010 EOS. He is best known for appearances in the World Wrestling Federation in the 1980s. He was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in 1996. Snuka was the first ECW heavyweight champion in Eastern Championship Wrestling. His children, Jimmy Riker Jr. and Tamina Snuka are also wrestlers. Interestingly, Snuka has almost never left the ring without making an I love you gesture to his fans. And in his interviews, one of his favorite words was Brudda, Joan Marie Lorraire, American wrestler, model, pornographic actress, and bodybuilder. A member of the WWE Hall of Fame since 2019 as a member of D-Generation X. China first rose to fame during her World Wrestling Federation debut in 1997 where she performed under the stage name China and was announced as the ninth wonder of the world. As a member of the D-Generation X faction, she won the WWE Intercontinental title and the WWF Women's title and was the first female wrestler to compete on the show's Battle Royal and King of the Ring. Since leaving the WWF in 2001, China has appeared sporadically, primarily in New Japan Pro Wrestling in 2002 and Total Nonstop Action Wrestling in 2011. Outside of wrestling, China has appeared in Playboy magazine twice, as well as numerous television shows and movies. Jonathan Huber, American wrestler. He was best known in WWE, where he performed under the name Luke Harper from 2012 to 2019. He performed in All Elite Wrestling under the name Meister Brody Lee and was the leader of the Dark Order faction. From 2003 to 2012, Huber worked under the name Brody Lee on the American independent scene for promotions such as Chikara, Ring of Honor, Dragon Gate USA and Squared Circle Wrestling, as well as Dragon Gate in Japan. After signing with WWE in 2012, he took the name Luke Harper and was sent to Florida Championship Wrestling before making his NXT debut as a member of the Wyatt family. He was closely associated with Bray Wyatt and Eric Rowan for most of his WWE career. In late October 2020, Huber was hospitalized due to a lung problem and passed away two months later on December 26 at the age of 41. The official cause of death was later given as a rare disease, idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. Jorge Gonzalez, Argentine basketball player and wrestler, known for appearing in World Championship Wrestling as El Gigante from 1989 to 1992 and in the World Wrestling Federation as Giant Gonzalez in 1993. Gonzalez died due to complications from type 1 diabetes and serious heart problems on September 22, 2010 in General Jose de San Martin, Argentina at the age of 44. Joseph Michael Laurinaitis, he was best known as the Road Warrior Animal in a tag team with Road Warrior Jasteb called the Road Warriors. He has headlined numerous WWF and WCW PPV shows and wrestled for the WCW World Heavyweight Championship at the 2001 Sin Show. Along with Hawk and their manager Paul Ellering, the Beast was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2011. Laurinaitis died of a heart attack on September 22, 2020. 10 days after his 60th birthday at the Margaritaville Resort in Osage Beach, Missouri. Leon Allen White, American wrestler and former American soccer player, better known as Big Van Vader or Vader. During his career, he appeared in New Japan Pro Wrestling, World Championship Wrestling, World Wrestling Federation, All Japan Pro Wrestling and Pro Wrestling NOAA in the 1990s and 2000s. Widely regarded as one of the greatest heavyweight wrestlers of all time, he was a 13-time world champion. Vader is a super heavyweight wrestler who performs aerial holds. 
such as the Vader Salt, which was voted best hold of 1993 by readers of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. First ever non-Japanese to become IWGP World Heavyweight Champion, two-time Triple Crown Heavyweight Champion, and three-time WCW World Heavyweight Champion. He has been a member of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter Hall of Fame since 1996. Vader was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2022. Nelson Frazier, American wrestler best known for appearances in World Wrestling Federation, World Wrestling Entertainment in the 1990s and 2000s as Mabel, King Mabel, Viscera, and Big Daddy V. A former WWF Tag Team Champion and WWF Hardcore Champion, he won the King of the Ring Tournament in 1995 and consequently claimed the WWF title in the main event of SummerSlam that year. Nelson Frazier Jr. died on February 18, 2014, at the age of 43 from a heart attack. He was cremated and his widow divided his ashes into 500 pendants as gifts for loved ones. Oriole Donald Paris, Canadian wrestler, the third WWF World Heavyweight Champion in history, known under the pseudonym Russian Bear Ivan Koloff. In 1967, Paris became the Russian bear Ivan Koloff, a bearded villain from the Ukraine, and made his International Wrestling Association debut in Montreal, Quebec. Koloff debuted in the Worldwide Wrestling Federation in late 1969 with Captain Lou Albano as his manager. He soon began a rivalry with then WWF World Heavyweight Champion Bruno Sammartino. Pat Patterson, Canadian and American wrestler, widely recognized for his long tenure with WWE wrestling promotions, first as a wrestler and later as a creative consultant and producer. He is recognized by the company as the first WWF Intercontinental Champion and the creator of the Battle Royal match. He has been a member of the WWE Hall of Fame since 1996. In 2019, Patterson became the oldest man to win a title in WWE history winning the 24-7 WWE title at the age of 78. Journalist Dave Meltzer called him Vince McMahon's right-hand man and one of WWE's chief architects who played an integral role in helping it become a global phenomenon. Randy Mario Poffo, American wrestler and commentator known as Macho Man Randy Savage. He is known for his work with the World Wrestling Federation and World Championship Wrestling. Bill Simmons of ESPN called Savage one of the greatest wrestlers who ever lived, a statement echoed by many in the industry. He was recognizable for his low and husky voice, flamboyant clothing, solemn and ceremonial marches theme music, and the crowning phrase, ooh yeah. For most of his career in the WWF and WCW, Savage's manager was his real life wife, Miss Elizabeth. He won 29 titles during his 32 year career including the WWF title twice and the WCW World Heavyweight title four times. Savage is also a WWF Intercontinental Champion and the King of the Ring in 1987. At the peak of his career had a popularity comparable to Hulk Hogan. He was posthumously inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2015. Rocky Johnson, Canadian wrestler. Among his many titles with the National Wrestling Alliance, he was the first black Georgia heavyweight champion as well as the NWA television champion. In 1983, he and his partner Tony Atlas won the WWF World Tag Team title, becoming the first black champion in WWF history. He has been a member of the WWE Hall of Fame since 2008, also known as the father of actor and wrestler Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Roderick George Toombs is a Canadian wrestler, wrestler, and actor known by his stage name, Boyan Roddy Piper. In wrestling, Piper was best known to international audiences for his work with the World Wrestling Federation and World Championship Wrestling from 1984 to 2000. Although he was Canadian, he was known as being from Glasgow due to his Scottish ancestry and was known for his trademark kilt and bagpipes upon entering the ring. Piper earned the nicknames The Boogeyman and Hot Rod, showcasing his trademark Scottish disposition, spontaneity, and wit. According to the Daily Telegraph, he is considered by many to be the greatest hill in wrestling history. One of wrestling's most recognizable stars, Piper has headlined numerous PPV shows, including WWF and WCW main annual events, WrestleMania and Starcade. Shad Javier Gaspard, 
is a famous wrestler and actor who appeared in World Wrestling Entertainment. He was a member of the Crime Time Group, but left the group and the group broke up as a result. On November 19th, 2010, he was fired from WWE. On March 29th, 2014, Shad Gaspard had his last fight, in which he lost to Brian Cage. After leaving WWE, Gaspard embarked on an acting career that included several movies and television roles such as Think Like a Man 2, Get Strong, The Game, and From Dust Till Dawn. In 2013, Gaspar appeared in the theatrical adaptation of the play The Boxer as Jack Johnson, the first African-American world heavyweight boxing champion, portraying the fighter's rise to the world heavyweight title in his tragic fall. He also co-created the 2011 graphic novel Assassin and Son and has done motion capture for video games, most notably for the main character Kratos in the 2018 God of War game.